It, how does that escape pod fly? There was no propulsion whatsoever, I don't get it. Uh, but it looks like we're going to attack the Emperor's home city. The, the, the capital of the Empire. And there's only one way to do it. That's right, we are flying off full-on Gradius style. Uh, this is everybody's favorite stage, I can, I can tell you that much. Oh, damn it. So, first off, we need to be a little defensive here and just kind of avoid damage. I wish I could remember the order that things fly in. Uh, there will be health coming up, so that'll be okay. <laughs> These poor pig soldiers have to fly in on friggin' balloons. Who knows how high above the city. I mean, hell, if they just let go, they're gonna plummet to their deaths. I feel sorry for them. This empire needs uh, some Marxism fast. Oh. You can, if you're really daring, and I used to be really daring, fly in between these so that you don't have to, um... Oh! Ow, you don't have to be, uh, watching yourself so much in the middle, but... Uh, I'd rather just kind of follow the, the strict path that they laid out for me. And here we go to a mini-boss that I'm pretty sure is... Ow! No! No! Oh, I was hoping to make it the whole way without using my continue, but that's okay. Alright, things are getting serious now. Um, but I'm gonna use my... Wait. Is that...? <laughs> it's, it's playing music only when I'm on yes, and when it's on no, I get this stern look like... Seriously? You're gonna give up? You're gonna give up right now? You made it so far. Uh, okay. Here goes nothing. Yeah, that's right. I made it back here without taking any damage. It's amazing how well you can perform when you're not worried about, uh, saying things. Uh, so this boss, like, uh, you have to take out those little, uh, defense areas first, but, uh... And I I'm playing this really dangerously right now. I really shouldn't be, but... Especially since uh, I lost all my lives, I only have w one life, as you can see in the top corner there. So I should be playing this really safely. But you know what? I'm a daredevil, baby. Wow, and an idiot. I'm pretty sure this boss is actually a direct reference to a boss from one of the Gradius games, but I can't be certain about that. Um, here's its second form, which... Oh! I don't quite remember. Oh, wait, wait. I want to get out of here. There's no way to... Protect yourself from that space there. And here I want to be in this corner. Oh. And how do I do this now? I don't remember this boss at all. I think I usually killed him before he got this far. <laughs> oh, okay, come on. Oh, no. Does he do anything after this? It looks like he's going to. Okay, he just re recycles his pattern. That's good. And he's going to be gone soon. There we go. And now it's time for another smooth entrance. You did it. All right, here we are inside the, I guess, Empire's factory. Uh, now this is a really cool teaching thing. So they give you this one up, and then they introduce these guys, which you cannot hurt. You can kind of keep them back, but if you touch them at any point, you just instantly die, no matter how much health you have. So that, that's kind of why they make it so that one-ups respawn. It's a teaching tool, and it kind of makes it so that if you make it far enough in a stage, you can keep retrying a difficult part without being punished for it. Um, and I think that's going to come up later, too. So we just need to make it past that guy. And now that we know that we don't want to touch him, we better run, because there's a whole squad of them coming our way, and we have to beat them to the bottom of this little well. And they fall a lot faster than we do, because they're made of metal. Uh, there we go. Okay, we made it. Now we switched up to some weird, cool jazz. Um, and we're being chased, which I'm pretty sure I can actually take my time with this. Um, and I'm going to so that we can see this. Boom! Come on. <laughs> oh, I love watching them panic, uh, as crazy as that sounds. Uh, and now we're going to go into another section that, if I remember correctly, is this the, the falling pillar? Oh yeah, uh, so this is one of the hardest sections in the game, I'd say, because um, it's very precise. Uh, this stage, actually, I don't know many people who's ever, who have ever beaten it, but we're just going to knock that down and this is going to crumble. And we got to race for it. 
This game kind of jumped back into uh, popular consciousness with a uh, remake that came out a few years ago. Uh, I believe like 2011, 2012. It was around the same time that there were uh, a bunch of shitty remakes coming out. Like the uh, Turtles in Time one, which was also a Konami game, I'm pretty sure. Um, and it, it was a bunch of things that people didn't want. Like, people just wanted a straight remake of Turtles in Time. And so what do they do? They changed the art style and made it look really shitty. Um, and so when people announced a, a remake of this game, they thought, well, it's going to be the same story. But instead, we got a completely new game. It wasn't even a remake, it was a reboot. Um, with new stages, new enemies, and it just it didn't do the gameplay right. Uh, so it, it wasn't popular, that much is known. Here we have our next gimmick. Uh, we shoot these little things with our sword, and that makes the move, but once it hits a dead end, the platform disappears. This is our safe area where they introduce it, and then from here it's going to get ooh, a lot trickier. So let's get climbing back up and do this again. Now in terms of remakes, there aren't many that I think were warranted or any good. Uh, the only one I can really think of that comes to mind is the Resident Evil remake for the GameCube. And that's because that was A, visually beautiful, still one of the most beautiful games on the system, or any system if you ask me, uh, but it also changed up the gameplay so much that it felt like it was a warranted remake. And if you ask me, that's one of the two reasons that you should ever remake anything. Um, and, and that's to either localize it or to fix something that was wrong with the original. Oh no, this is really tricky. Um, so for example, the only two games that I would say that really need a remake uh, are, one, Final Fantasy XII, um, and that's mainly because we never got the international release out in the West with the Zodiac job system, which is super cool. Um, and secondly, I would say probably Vagrant Story, but that's because that game sucked. Um, <laughs> uh, that was a game that I really wanted to like. It has a great story and all that stuff, but ah, the uh, the gameplay was just so broken. I believe there's a one up here, yes. Woo! Oh, I really should not have gone for this because this is the hard route. And as you can tell, this is one of those levels that a lot of people did not make it very far on. Um, this is one of the trickiest kind of pl platformy segments of the game because if you screw up your angle on this ascent, you're just boned. But, wow, I made it through on my first try. Even I am surprised. Now, if you ask me Vagrant Story, like, it was a really good idea, but, uh... The, the mechanics were just need some reworking. They need to completely redo the crafting system and how the weapons work and all that stuff. And you'd have yourself an actual good game. Uh, now we gotta freaking run for it! Because that kills us in one hit! Oh god! Oh no! Oh! Okay. Um, oh, this is actually really tense. Um, how do I do this? Did I make it? Oh my god, I made it on my first try too. That's one of those segments that takes a, l a lot of memorization and it is so tense, like my heart is racing. And now we are boxing! Yes, this is the boss fight of this zone, and it is one of the more popular uh, aspects of this game. So popular, in fact, that the, uh, the Genesis sequel that I mentioned before was uh, the kind of fan servicey one opens with this boss fight basically redone. Ah, shoot, I didn't make it. That's okay. Oh, I have to do this again? I don't think I can make it. Not twice in a row. Whew, okay. Deep breath. Leroy, get out of here. No. Oh, this is off to a bad start already. Oh, really bad start. This is going to be the death of me, isn't it? Maybe I should just meet you there. Oh, we'll see how this run goes. Okay, not bad, not bad, not bad. And now I have full health again, let's uh, give this a shot. Fight! Oh! Wow, I can only take three hits before game over. This is a fight that you can cheese pretty well. Um, if you don't suck. Okay, round three. If my counting's correct. I, I don't even remember how many rounds this has been now. Uh, but yeah, the good thing about it is that there is that one up there. So 
if you're good enough to make it through the first part of the stage, you can just keep doing this forever until you get, like, without getting game over. Uh, he's he's learning how to dodge me now. Oh, okay. Can't can't get hit anymore. Come on, come on. Don't run from me. Take it. Oh no! At this point, my score is gonna keep going up until I actually gain lives from <laughs> losing this fight. Oh, no good. No bueno. But yeah, like I said, the uh, the Genesis sequel to this game opens on basically this boss fight. Like, why would you do that? Why would you open a game with a gimmick stage? That the first stage should be for introducing the core gameplay, not a one-off. Uh, that's just like who, who the hell was behind that decision? I think it's silly. Oh no! No, no, get away, get away. Oh, oh, this is tense. Uh, is there another attack? I can't remember. I guess not. Oh! Uh, no! <laughs> get back. I'm just gonna keep swinging my arms, and if you walk in and get hurt, it's your own fault. Oh! <laughs> and it did! Oh, unfortunately, I don't have any choice about my pose for the end of this one. Uh, but damn, Sparkster looks stern. Don't you piss off this opossum. Or possum. I don't know, what's the difference? Somebody tell me, what's the difference? 